Reggae for do the thing a little way different. Well, big up re Reggae that fr we don't know i'm errol dunkley original gong nation foundation international jamaican authentic artist and it's a pleasure to big up reggae that fr every time boom 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 Well, Europe is a place I love for years. I, I've been coming here to France from in the 80s, you know, doing a lot of um, like radio interviews, TV interviews, TV programs, but I've never done a live performance yet in France, you know, and this is my first time and it's a pleasure to be here to sing for you people. <laughs> started from kids days you know teen, early teenage days and well for me music is, was an inborn thing you know what I mean cuz the for from the day I, I was born I, uh, I was predestined to do this you know what I mean cuz nothing is new anything that happens that that was already ordained for you to do. But I'm glad that this is what God give me, you know? Um as as my way in life because I, I, I born and grow in the ghetto where things was very hard, you know what I mean? Um my parents are poor people, you know, so music was a kind of up, upliftment upliftment for me, you know. Music takes me out of the ghetto, you know, and take me places, take me to France that I can be here with you, you know what I mean? So I, I, give, I give so much thanks for music. I love music. I don't play football anymore. I don't play cricket anymore. I can't run so fast anymore. So <laughs> my pleasure is music. Look at the sun, I will shine. Well, all these things were created by the Father. Look at the grass. I started out when I was a kid, but there was a kid before me, <laughs> you know what I mean? Delroy Wilson. So I, I, I was inspired by Delroy. Um, my, my first producer was Prince Buster. And I, I remember him going over Sir Coxon downbeat place bringing Delroy over to his place and telling Delroy that I'm the next youth who's gonna um, come up beside him. And I was so glad that I become an inspiration to Dennis Brown I, I, and Gregory Isaac, you know what I mean? They're my students. A lot of people might think that those artists was before me, you know what I mean? But I am the one before them. Look at the grass, how it makes your lawns look pretty. And look at the flower, how it makes your gardens look pretty. Even when you're feeling weary, tired and low, all you gotta do is relax and feel the cool flow.
I never had any um, success with people like Prince Buster, you know. Uh, it's after um, leaving Prince Buster, I started working for Joe Gibbs and the Amalgamated label. We had a hit song called You're Gonna Need Me. Then I had a follow-up with another hit song, Please Stop Your Lying Girl. Then I had another hit song, which was a follow-up again, called uh, I'm Going Home, which I later did for a different record company, Success Record, and we call it Three in One, because there was a phase going on in Jamaica at the time where all the artists were singing medley of all their hit songs, you know what I mean? And we would like sing two verses out of that song, another one verse of that song, Ken Booth and all of us do it. Used to have a group called Gay Lads, they did it too. It was like a, 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 a phase happening at the time, you know what I mean? So, I had a three in one song, which I did these three songs again together. But then I, 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 been, um, I teamed up with Gregory Isaac and we formed the African Museum label. And I had Movie Star and Gregory had other songs too. like being a man, Caperton, right? These youth have talent, you know what I'm saying? And they're doing their thing, which is creative. Just like when we started out, people were saying that we're singing rock songs. They wouldn't play our songs on the radio. They would play all these American songs, you know what I mean? And they used to call our music rock songs. Now they are saying, oh, our thing is like that. Our thing is so great. You know what I mean? These people are hypocrites. <laughs> so you just do your thing, you know what I mean? Talent is talent. And you, you, you have to accept talent. You know what I mean? Capitan, being a man. You have some other young youths who is coming up who will carry on the thing because the people before me set it and we who come after them have to carry it so the youths who come after we so it never dies <laughs> yeah. Music keeps you young, you know what I'm saying? Music is an energy and you have to play the you have to look the part you play. So I try to look the part I play. I don't really dress like a youth. I don't go on stage in a t-shirt or a jeans. I'm like suit and tie, you know. <laughs> and original gangster felt and See, I mostly like the Italian style. Simple. Yeah, I just like Al Pacino, you know. <laughs>